bitching post, motherfucker. What? I don't think I have the rage. Truly outrageous. Is it really truly outrageous? Is it really though? Let's talk about that. Okay, I'm about to do a bitching post about something that's very near and dear to my heart, to my childhood memories, to my to my teenage hurt, if you will. Gem and the Holograms was a cartoon that I used to see back in the day, and it, if you're not familiar with it, I can break it down. It's about this girl who finds an earring that turns her into a rock star. Well, she's also head of like an orphanage. So she takes care of all these underprivileged orphan children. And as she's a rock star, she makes the money to take care of all that because that business is failing or whatever. She's losing money. Her and her friends become some kind of a rock star group. And, and they're just like all glitter, all glam. It's just, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just over the top. There's another band, a rival band, that's all punk rock type, like they're hardcore, and they're called the Misfits, okay? So they're like having this constant squabble the whole time. It's like it's the Misfits and Gem and the Holograms, the Misfits and Gem and the Holograms. Okay, so this was an ongoing thing. Everything they did in the cartoon throughout the whole series, the Misfits had to be better or cause problems because they were better. Their songs were better and they, they had bad attitudes and stuff and they were like the ones you'd root for. But... <laughs> okay, they made a movie. I just saw the trailer for this movie. They made a real life movie. I knew they were gonna fuck it up. I knew they were gonna do it. <laughs> These motherfuckers, the only thing they got right was they got that one chick in the movie. Ugh, I can't even think of her name. I'm so mad. I can't even think of her name. Her dad just died. <sighs> What's her name? Can't think of her name. Anyway, she's like the manager, but this is okay. This The whole damn thing is wrong. It's all about some, some girl who gets viral on YouTube and then a major label signs her, they change her name, they change her image. It's just like today's crap, pop, bullshit that you see. And I can name all the artists, it's everything mainstream today. So that's what they did, you know, it's the typical, oh she was discovered on YouTube, let's make her a star. Okay, many things anger me about this. I can't even really get into it. It's just insane. The most painful thing to see is that the misfits are not even in there. They're not included. They're not there at all. They only got the one guy that Jem is into. He likes Jem. He doesn't like Jerrica. There's like a split. It's like a Miley Cyrus Montana thing. Hannah Montana it was kind of like that. No one knew the rock star girl was the other girl. It's like she was a good girl and the other the rock star was like crazy famous and they never knew. That, so Hannah Montana was a ripoff of Gem and the Holograms. But if they're gonna make a movie, why don't they make the movie right? Why don't they, why don't they include everyone that was in the animation? Because really, the Misfits were a big part of that whole show. And they're not even included. They're not even there. This is all just some kind of like, it's like some kind of tween movie. It has nothing to do with honoring the past. It has, it's not even taking place in that era. They made it take place in today's time with all the YouTube bullshit and all this crap. I mean, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm disappointed. Thanks a lot, Universal. Thanks a lot for messing this up. It's just, it's just great that you did this. I was excited. I was looking forward to it. And then I see the trailer and it's like, no, it's nothing, it's nothing like how it was supposed to be. I mean, why did you ask the fans? Why did you ask the fans what they want to see? They want to see a translation of the show, of the original animation. They don't want to see this bullshit. They don't want to see this viral bullshit. Oh, look at her now. Oh, and what's with the soundtrack? I'm sorry. The Gem and the Holograms had their own crazy, goofy kind of music. It was stupid. It was corny, but it was original. And in this trailer, all you hear is One Direction. All you hear is all the pop stuff that's out right now or was out five years ago or whatever. I don't know. I don't follow that shit. But I hear it and it's there and it's annoying because I'm like, no, like why couldn't they use the original songs that were, you know who was the original singer too? The original singer was in the movie Satisfaction with Justine Bateman, 
but she's got a good voice. Why can't they get her to do all the singing? We know that these little girls can't sing. So they got, they just got little girls that look cute or something. And they probably don't have talent. I don't think any of them can play instruments. It's just like some kind of Hollywood bullshit story that they turn into a movie. That's like the fucking Josie and the Pussycats. Kind of like that. Like they just created another version of it. That's not what Jim and the Holograms was. That's not truly outrageous, man. That's not truly, truly, truly outrageous.